altered, confined house race. Solid Avril was a little bit slower away than the rest. Uh, Total Rebellion is just about the leader as they go over the first. Renegotiate the Wayward Lord and Solid Avril are the three who are a bit off the pace. And Minster Lab now comes through under Alice the Lab to take it up for the Total Rebellion as they go over the second. Raw Monarchy shows in the first. And then comes Paul Lee Jones who's racing on the inside of the Patch Grave. Poppy Day is just in behind the leaders in the green covers and they're followed by Kingdom of Munster as they land over that one. Sporting Friendship is in the midfield in company with Reasonable Force as they head on towards the fourth. And Minster Land is in for a fifth point to point winner. Win leading from Total Rebellion. Slow jump there from Solid Avril. In third place at the moment, Poppy Day is now joined for Mrs. Jones, Lord Multifix, Sporting Friendship, Reasonable Force, Kingdom of Munster are in the next group in company with the Patch and Brave who ran well here last year. And then comes Kilari Bay who's in the midfield as they move towards the open ditch and jump this one. And Dika is racing on the right outside. In the midfield at the moment, still solid as real at the back. Chancery Lambs in the rear, the Wayward Lord, who came to greet the Robert Clark last weekend, is in the last trio as well. As they head round the corner, the one where I don't want to see the landing side, just in front of the final trio is Dawn Ride. So as they jump it, might have been Sporting Friendship who led there, but anyway, it's about to come back into on the outside and Minister Ladd, he made a very good jump there again, Minister Ladd. And uh, experience of course, showing away. Paul Mr. Jones in the yellow colours is racing on the inside. It's now come through to the right in second place. Uh, Poppy Day has lost some position now, brought back into the midfield. He can make headway around the outside of them on the long gallop towards the ninth fence. Mr. Ladd has got the lead from Deacon for Mrs. Jones and the Sporting Friendship. Total no. Rebellion raises next and then Kingdom of Munster followed by Reasonable Force. And after that one is Kilari Bay in company with Poppy Day. And they're being followed by Renegotiate. And all multi-fix is losing ground. Catch Brave is just in front of that one. And they're followed by Dual Ride. Chancery now the way with Lord and Solid Ad. Those of the three who are seriously detached. They prepare to return up the hill. Mr. Lowry went on the second fence leading. Dika is almost level now. Or Mrs. Jones running it more enthusiasm than she did last uh, time. And the way before, Jacqueline Carroll has fallen off going round the bend there, so I presume the horse slipped off this circuit. Uh, Jacqueline is up immediately. Uh, Richard Smith, I should say. Richard Smith is getting up there. So the others are heading back towards the Next fence, this is the 11th, and it's Minster Lamb who's got the lead as they come to it from Zika in second place, Sporting Friendship is racing third. Catch and Bray is right on the inside, Paul Mrs. Jones a little bit wider up. Poppy Day has tried to improve again, so the Rebellion's next, then comes Killari Bay, Kingdom of Munster, renegotiate under Richard Tierney is following those, and then comes Lord and Multifix as they clear that one. And Chancery Lad is at the back of the field and uh, not going at all well, and Solid Avril has never gone with any purpose either. So they land over the next, and as they take that one, leaders all safely over, but Dika has made a move now to go about five lengths clear of Sporting Friendship, Apache Brave. Uh, then comes Minster Lad, who's starting to lose some positions. Solid Avril was pulled up at that one. Chancery Lad has jumped it last of the 14 who are now still going. But Deeker and Paul Collins, having made that forward move, have gone on by about 10 lengths now from Sporting Friendship Paul Mrs. Jones is back in third place and then comes Reasonable Force and after that one is Renegotiate and Apache Brave are racing pretty much together. And then comes Killari Bay with Dawn Ride following that one. Got Chancery <laughs> Lab is going to pull up. So Dika with this uh, big lead turning out of the back straight. One of the co favourites here, 5 to 1, not long before the off. And doing it easily out in front here. An eight length lead from Sporting Friendship, Paul Mrs. Jones and Reasonable Force are third and fourth. And then there's a gap back to renegotiate Canary Bay. That one's followed by Apache Brave. 
and then comes Lord Multifix and Poppy Day, and they've gone a long way clear of Kingdom of Munster, Minster Lad is at the back of the field, Total Rebellion has been very disappointing, and then comes Gorm Ride, who's last. But it's Dika, who's leading still by eight or ten lengths, the mention before the race, won uh, this race for Stadium, Munster win. Trained by an Irish trainer, sometimes not based in this country, but Dika galloping on really well out in front here of Sporting Friendship for Mrs. Jones. They make the turn towards the next fence. Lord Multifix in the blue colours is beginning to make some pretty good headway with just the two fences left to jump. It's Dika in a clear lead from Sporting Friendship and then comes for Mrs. Jones. We've got it a bit close there, followed by Lord Multifix and then a wide margin back to Reasonable Force. So they're now coming to the last, and then a very long run in, and Dika has jumped in from Sporting Friendship for Mrs. Jones over in third place, or Multifix took it for, and then came Poppy Day. We had a four at the last, and that was Renegotiate. The rider is immediately up. So coming round towards the finish now, and Dika and Paul Collins went on at halfway, and really turned into the procession after that. Sporting Friendship, which had a run this week for Mrs. Jones, and then followed by Lord Multifix, uh, Poppy Day, Apache Brave has got round, and so too 